Hi everyone and welcome to Rush's Craft Corner. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe. I know some of or parts of the country are going into tier 2 uh, restrictions at the moment. Um, I know as of last night London is on a tier 2 restriction which now means I can't actually visit my family. Um, but anyhow, I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe and yeah, I just wanted to share a couple of um, bits I've bought from, I say a couple of bits, a few bits I've bought from eBay, Facebook and Crafty Devil. Um, I don't know if I remember, uh, I don't know if you remember me mentioning that I was in search for the Kaleidoscope lid and base. Um, unfortunately I still haven't been able to get a hold of any um, but I have uh, managed to get a hold of well I say I haven't been able to get a hold of any I've been able to get a hold of one um, one of the triangle ones from a lovely lady on Facebook um, which I'll share with you um, uh, so yeah if I start with the bits I bought from eBay. Um, so, so the first items that I bought um, were these. Um, these I bought as a three pack from eBay, and I think I paid uh, fifteen ninety nine for these. Um, I haven't I haven't taken them out of the packaging yet, um, but I've been looking for the um, bunting die set, so I've managed to get all three of them. I was actually looking for this one, um, but I managed to get all of them. Um, so yeah, they seem like a decent size. Um, it's just over four inches. Um, and lengthwise, oh. about just under fifteen centimeters. Um, so yeah, it seems like a decent size. I will cut these out and I will have a play with them at some point. Sorry for the glare. Um, I have got the light on. It seems a bit dark outside today. Um, but yeah, how cute! And even like the, even like the um, bunting down here, it's all like got designs on them. So as you can see, and it's got that stitched effect um, around the edge on all of them, I think. Oh, this one's a dot effect, and what's this one? This is like a stitch dot effect. So sorry about that. The triangle one looks quite cute as well, actually. Um, so yeah, fifteen ninety nine from eBay, and I think I paid. Can't remember if I paid postage or not, but I thought that was a good buy. Um, so that's that. I also um, saw this. Um, somebody was selling this. Um, I think it was on auction, um, but um, I managed to. Get it for twelve pounds. I literally put in an offer to the um, seller, and they accepted. So I paid twelve pounds for this. I've been looking for it. Obviously, this complements the um, the kaleidoscope, the octagon um, shape box and lid. Um, so I thought that was quite cute, but it also works on its own. Um, it comes with 12 dies, and if I just take it out of the packet, it's a little bit temperamental, and I was trying to, oh, let me just try and take it out of the packaging. There you go, hopefully that will stop the glare. Right, so, how... Cute. I'll do it that way around actually. How cute. It's 
huge. I, I did not realise it was this big. Um, wow, it's huge. So it comes up to 20, just over 20, 20 centimetres. And so this is um, definitely just over 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So these are actually huge. It's huge, absolutely huge. And there's so many, if you look at all the different designs, so you've got that scalloped one, you've got the dot, you've got the dashes, you've got the dots again, more dashes. But they are also half dies. So... Some of them have the cuts on the inside um, of the dot. Some of them have the cuts on the outside of the dot. So if it's on the inside, it means you've left the design. You, it might be an aperture you're cu cutting out. Um, but I just think it's so cute and I can't wait to make use of these. Um, I would have cut this out. Unfortunately, um, I've only got my big shot in the house and my... Gemini, um, the A4 one, is actually in the summer house in my craft um, room. So, um, but yeah, what a wonderful set of dies. So, if you know of anybody that is selling the octagon lid and base, please do let me know. Um, I've been searching high and low for it. it. You know, if anyone comes across the octagon or the hexagon, I know they're like gold dust to find, but... I am searching. I did see one sell for, I think, £51 on eBay the other day. There was another one that sold for £62 the other day. So they are out there. I just don't want to pay ridiculous prices. Um, I actually also sent a, uh, an email to Tonic this week um, to ask about the Kaleidoscope um, lid and base. And uh, I had a response from Sarah at Tonic to say that it is actually discontinued. Um, why they will discontinue a product that is so popular, I really don't know. Um, because when you go onto eBay, you'll come across companies that are making um, replicas and I would rather pay my money to Tonic than get a replica because the replica is not a great, it's not, it's not good enough, unfortunately. Um, I have made the mistake of purchasing items from eBay thinking it's Tonic, but it's not. I've learned from that. Won't be doing that again. Um, but anyhow, so yes, so this I paid £12 for and I think it was a couple of pounds in postage. So I'm really pleased with that. So that those were from eBay. Um, I bought these from Crafty Devil. Let me share these ones with you. So these are sentiment dies and it's got the shadow as well. Um, oh. So, okay, so um, this one is Enjoy the Little Things. Sorry for the glare. It's quite a decent size, actually, as well. Um, it's saying reduced size, but I've cut it out just so I could show you an example of how it looks. And I, I really like this. Enjoy the Little Things. Um, and it really cuts really well. I have, probably haven't stuck it down very well, but it, yeah, I think that would look really nice in a memory book or a card. Um, so I've got that one. Head over to Crafty Devil. Um, they've got a really good sale on at the moment, um, especially if you're into your kaleidoscope boxes. I mean, if you've got the lid and base die set, definitely head over there because they have got the insert panel sets. Um, the insert panel dies, which I will show you in a second. But yeah, so that's the first one. And like I said, it is a decent size. Um, this measures... Eight and a half centimetres. Um, 
by six and a half centimeters so that's actually a decent size um sentiment um so yeah so and these were 2.99 which i thought was was a good price so that's the first one and then the second one is this one um which is the best is yet to come um again it contains the sentiment and the shadow dye as well Again, decent size. I have cut this one out as well. As you can see, the best is yet to come. How cute is that? So yeah, quite pleased with those. Again, that one was $2.99. I then bought these. So this one is the Let's Celebrate Kaleidoscope uh, box decorative panel set so when I say decorative panel so this is only the decoration bit you you still need the actual panel so this is like the um, I would call this the insert I suppose um, bear with me okay maybe not right so this is the panel set um, and that just has the actual panels that go onto your in see I would have said these are inserts and then you've got the panels but anyway so you've got these um, and these are quite cute if you can see these are the bits that you can cut out it's got a bottle a couple of champagne glasses and the word celebrate which is really cute um, I will tell you how much they were in a second. Let me share these ones with you first. So this one is Night at the Ballet. Again, this is just the actual panel. That is so cute, especially for someone that might do ballet. Um, so you've got that and these are the actual panels that come with it. You can see. And then you've got this one, which is the Toy Box Kaleidoscope box decorative panel set and this one has got the teddy bear the horse and the bow as you can see those ones so these I've seen selling on eBay for about 10 pounds 15 pounds each I bought these from crafty devil and I have so just to be clear crafty devil Tonic, they don't pay me to review any of their products. I'm reviewing them based on my own personal experience and my personal shopping experience. So these I paid $3.99 each. They're still in stock, so head over to Crafty Devil and check it out. Um, because why not pay the reduced price rather than paying and these are brand brand new they're not used they're not second hand these are brand new from crafty devils so go head over to their um website and check these out they have like i said they have got a sale on at the moment there is quite a few tonic items that are on clearance up to 90 percent off i did check this morning and these are still in stock so you've got those and then the last items that I wanted to share with you were from a lovely lady on Facebook. And I had to scroll down the post to actually find it. But it's um, the festive, festive Strip Kaleidoscope Box Insert Panel Set. Now, this is where I'm confused about insert panel set. Because this is the insert. Let me just turn that around. So this is the actual... I would have said this is the panel and these are the inserts. But anyhow. Um, I haven't, like I said, my, my Gemini's in the summer house. And I didn't want to go into um, the summer house to get it all out this morning. So... Um, I thought I'd just quickly do um, a video on it. Um, but this is a three panel 
side basically so if you were to make a triangle you just need to cut this once depending on what size box you're trying to make depending on whether you have the lid to that um, uh, design um, but I decided to change things up a little bit um, and I have had a play because with this set came the actual this was the only um, box lid and base set that I've been able to purchase um, and I don't know if you can see sorry for the glare so I decided to make this um, box so I'll share what I made with you this is what I made so I used um, the cardstock from my um, craft kit 36 because you get your single sheets don't you so I thought that let me make use of them um, and so I made this beautiful little box and how cute now I want all of them and they open quite easily. I mean, the bottom was a tight fit. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it just goes together so beautifully. And I'm so happy with this box. These are definitely going to make beautiful little gifts. Um, I would put, you know, you've got your branded sweets, haven't you? You can put in here. Um... But I did think of putting a few Werther's original in there and giving them out to some work colleagues. So I'll probably make some of these for Christmas. Um, but how cute. So you can you can mix and match the actual panels. Um, the actual panel that I used was from a die set that I bought. Uh, actually, no, it was from the Mystery Die Bundle. Um, so I used the panel from that. Um, and this panel is from the sewing panel set. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, how cute is that? And um, I bought this um, on, uh, or I bought this from a lovely lady on Facebook. And like I said, if I was to bid on this, I would have probably ended up paying quite a lot of money for it. Um, so I'm thankful to... Um, the lovely Facebooker um, because I did pay a good decent price for these um, I think in total I paid 30 um, there is another set that she is actually selling on Facebook and it was through the Tonic UK uh, Facebook buy and sell Tonic buy and sell so there is um, a lovely lady on there that is selling um, the panel sets um, so I picked this one up because it had the actual box lid and base um, but like I said, Tonic have emailed me back and they have said that they won't be making any more. It is discontinued. So, um, I'm not really sure why they're so popular. Um, but I just wanted to, I was so intrigued by these that I just wanted to get them and just have a play and see what they actually look like once they're put together. But as you can see, they do look rather nice. And I did think actually about putting two of these triangles together to make like a diamond shape but in the end I just stuck to that small that small design there using the gold um, embossed card and the um, speciality paper from um, from tonic what I did find with this actual paper was um, I tried to use my caterpillar to cut the paper and it would not cut it was like fabric it would not cut um, so in the end what I can say is die cutting it is better than trying to trim it in a trimmer you can't you can cut with scissors but just can't put it through a caterpillar or anything like that because it just doesn't cut so that's all for today oh actually one more thing that I did get this was actually from Crafty Devil um, this was I think $1.99 and this is the A4 handcrafted cotton paper and this is a, the square sequins I don't know if you can see the pattern on it I just think it's quite a lovely colour for Christmas and for gift boxes and things like that so that was from Crafty Devil um, so 
thank you so much for watching um sorry it was a little bit all over the place this morning um hopefully i have um ordered a couple of more bits um which i am waiting for to come in um and i will share that with you when they uh, when they arrive um hopefully tonic have sort of picked up on their deliveries and things like that and it's coming a little bit sooner so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um so that you can keep up to date with um my hauls and um yeah Thank you so much. Um, hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.